And you're listening to Sunrise America. I'm John Patch. I'm Lexi Lapp. And I'm Zach Beauty. Sitting in for John Cremens, and uh, I want to welcome on to the program from the A-Team, for wildlife, that is, Ken Jones. Hey, Ken, how you doing? Welcome to uh, Sunrise America. Well, hello. Good morning, Sunrise America. It's n- nice to have you on with us. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. i got to find out a little bit about, uh, so people know around the country, A-Team for wildlife. Now, this thing I find interesting. I want to find out a little bit about your company, but they, according to what I read, poaching alone, never mind habitat destruction, which I always talk about, is killing off our most treasured species. Now, three tigers per week, 50 elephants, four orangutans, three rhinos, and two giant pandas are killed each day on average. And you say that mass extinction is the number one issue in the world because without nature, nothing else survives. Very true. So tell us a little bit about the A-Team. What do you guys do there? Well, A-Team for Wildlife is a, is a new wildlife organization. We're an environmental education nonprofit. Uh, our focus is on young people. We serve youth saving endangered species. Uh, we do that in a couple of uh, ways. Uh, we, we have a, a membership program where young people can, and by young people I mean from ages 8 to 18, can uh, become members and learn about endangered species. They can become a, a member of a local A-Team or, or start one of their own and help raise awareness about uh, the plight of endangered species and and help save endangered species by raising funds and that sort of thing. So does it start with the youth? Is that what is going to change the future? Well, we also have a, a, well, a new program we've launched this year for, for adults as well, but A-Team got its start uh, because of young people. Frankly, uh, I host a podcast myself uh, about conservation, and I met some young people that were doing amazing things. And some of these kids were not getting the support uh, that, that I really thought that they had deserved. And we need these young people. They're the leaders of tomorrow in conservation as, as well as in other fields. And uh, I felt strongly that there should be adults helping these kids along the way. And so we started what, what we call the International A-Team. And these are prodigies of conservation from around the world. They're from currently from five different countries. There's 17 members of the International A-Team here in our first year. That's a whole other story unto itself, but amazing kids doing amazing things. I got to ask you too. Um, there's one plight that you guys are on right now, and it's it's involving actually um, the Gulf of uh, the Gulf of California and Mexican authorities, and it involves a, a little marine mammal. And can you tell us what this is all about? Yes, I'd, I'd like to because the story of the vaquita is. Uh, well, it's an important one, and it's upsetting. The poor little vaquita is a, a beautiful little porpoise, and, and they're very intelligent animals. They live in the Gulf of California, uh, and so th- that puts them within 100 miles of the uh, the borders of the United States, and they are uh, the most endangered marine mammal in the world today. They happen to be the smallest of the cetaceans. Cetaceans are the, um, the group of animals we think of as, as whales, porpoises, and uh, dolphins. And the vaquita has had a rough time. They live in a very limited habitat there in the Gulf of California. They occur nowhere else. And fishing in the Gulf has uh, reduced their numbers to the point where now there's fewer than the 95, as far as we can tell. 95 individuals left in the whole world for this amazing animal. So it's very close to extinction, and we're trying to save it. So we've started a petition this year to send to the Mexican authorities to urge them to make it a higher priority to pay attention to this species and do the things needed to save it. That's the thing, too, is like, what about with zoos and aquariums and all? I mean, a lot of times they'll take in animals like, for instance, tigers, which there's maybe, what, about 2,000 left in the wild, um, and maybe like this this marine mammal, this vaquita. Uh can they breed within these, can that keep the species alive? Because the wild doesn't seem to be doing it. Sure, then that's a fair that's a fair question, but uh, there's a, there's some problems with that. Vaquitas aren't known for breeding in captivity. No one's had uh, much success with that in the past. And conservationists in general are very reluctant to take out, when the numbers get this low in the wild, to take more out of the wild and deplete the breeding potential there, to take them into captivity on the gamble that they'll be able to produce some young ones in captivity, especially with a species that they have so little experience with like this, is not something conservationists think is a wise decision. We know they can breed in their natural habitat, and if they're left alone, they'll recover. But unfortunately, fishing is the major industry in that area, 
And the fishermen have been using what we call gill nets to catch their fish. And these gill nets trap these dolphins. Uh, and below the surface of the water, you know, they're air breathing. They have to get to the air. And what happens is they, they, they drown. They've been considered bycatch for decades now. They're just they're, they're killed in these nets and, and discarded. It's been going on to the extent that there's, there's very few left. We, we don't think we can breed them in captivity and recover them that way. And so a preserve has been set up here in recent years to set aside what's thought of as, as the core of the natural habitat for the vaquita in the northern part of the Gulf of California. But the preserve is, is too small. It's only a, a part of the range. And recently, satellite photos have come to light showing a lot of fishing going on within that preserve illegally. More enforcement is what's needed. And they want to increase the area of that, of that preserve as well. But there's little point to that if they don't enforce the area that they have. I know that you had said that it was a sm- one of the smaller porpoises. How big exactly is it? it is, this sweetheart you could hold in your arms. <laughs> they get three to four feet long, uh, and they, they have beautiful markings. They have like eyeliner and yeah. <laughs> and lipstick. They, and, I mean, like they're going they, out on they a have date. These outlines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're all dressed up, ready to go somewhere. <laughs> no, I can actually I and, can uh, see a picture in front of me of the, the the vaquita, and you're right. I mean, it's a gorgeous creature. That's so cute. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 beautiful. They're they're, they're cute, and they're very intelligent. Well, a lot of people wouldn't know this, but at the 2012 meeting of the American Association of Advancement of Science, support was reiterated for a cetacean bill of rights, listing cetaceans, like the vaquita, as non-human persons. That, that says something about the esteemed scientists hold for their intelligence. i got to ask you, Ken Jones, with the A-Team for Wildlife, how do people help you out in this case? I'd like every one of your listeners, we need to get big numbers, you know, on this petition. It's so easy to sign a petition online these days. It takes takes only moments to do. And we, we need everyone to visit our website. If they go to A Team for Wildlife, that's A hyphen team T E A M for F O R Wildlife dot org forward slash stop war nature. That's stop hyphen war hyphen nature. That's the Vaquita page where um, they can learn about our campaign uh, that we're calling Stop the War on Nature. That's our adult part of our program. That's where adults can become, become uh, members. It's free of charge. They can sign up, and we'll keep them informed about what's happening with the vaquita and uh, inform them of other petitions that are coming up to save other endangered species. They can uh, see photos. We've got uh, many more photos on that page. Uh, That's a the video thing. People can make so a difference forth, right so. there from their living room. Go to www.a-teamforwildlife.org forward slash stop hyphen war Hi, war hyphen nature so uh go to that website help out make a difference save our endangered species and help the a-team ken jones thanks for joining us here on sunrise america thank you thank you very much